Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome to a brand new series. This is Cave Story, as you can see. Technically, it's Cave Story Plus, um, which basically means that it is Cave Story plus some other stuff. Um, not a big deal, I'll get into that in a little bit. But this is Cave Story. Um, this is going to be the game that's going to replace uh, Shovel Knight for the time being until the next uh, update, the DLC, comes out, uh, which... I've heard is probably not going to be until about the end of uh, this year, so let's go ahead and play Cave Story. Um, now, full disclosure, I've beat this game so many times. This is actually one of my favorite games, um, like, in every game, and uh, I hope I hope I can, you know, and get you guys to enjoy this game uh, as much as I do, at least a little bit. Um, so this is Cave Story Plus, it's on Steam. Um, there is, like, three other versions. There is the original freeware, which I've owned, um, which is completely free and looks a lot different, uh, which I actually want to show off. So, there is the option in Cave Story Plus to have new graphics or original. If we do original graphics, it will look old. Um, there's also the music. I like the original music better than the new one. You can take your pick. Hopefully the sound levels, by the way, sound good. Uh, I tried to make sure they did, but there was the freeware version with the original stuff made by one man um, who goes by the name of Pixel, and I yeah I like I like the original better than remastered too. So we're gonna stick with the original. Um, but yeah, so it was oops made by one man by name of Pixel, uh, and then. Uh, it was picked up by a publisher company who is the same people that does, uh, that published Binding of Isaac. And it came, uh, Nicholas. <laughs> That's what their name is. And it came out on the Wii, which I owned, the 3DS, and I think there was, there might have been a Wii U version? Uh, and then there's the Steam version, which is the one we're currently playing. Now this has a whole bunch of other things, like challenges, which I don't have all of them unlocked. Uh, Curly Story, which... Uh, well, we might do at another time or not, but then the option of having new graphics and whatnot. But enough talk. Let's jump into this. Uh, as you see, I have some other saves files. We're going to start a new game, and we're just going to play original difficulty. Um, I, hard difficulty, I don't want to do, because we are going to try to get... I guess 100%. We're gonna tr we're gonna get all three endings. This game has three endings. So someone's transmission. Uh, connecting to network. Log well done. Starting IM chat. Uh, Kazuma Sue, are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please. Alright, so here is our character. We can't do anything. Uh, these are save points. I don't remember how to save. Uh, these are health uh, refillers. And this is a cave where it is possible to die. Uh, we have an air meter. We can't breathe underwater. And I'm actually gonna... Um, do nothing. Okay. So hopefully the sound isn't too bad, um, and then we'll, uh, it's down. I gotta remember, it's been a while since I played, uh, so we can't go that way, I guess we'll have to go this way. Now those spikes, the red spikes will do damage, and insta-kill us. Uh, I did not intend to hit that, it's been a while since I played this game, but, um, the main reason I love this game as much as I do is the music is, by far, it is the best. Uh, it is just fantastic. That's why I like the original better than the remastered. Um, and let's see, we can get this. Life capsule. Uh, so this is a health up. It's Cave Story, I never actually said, is a Metrovania style game. Um, but it's relatively linear. Uh, there is some options in the game, but for the most part, it's a pretty linear game. Uh, and this is just the tutorial level, getting used to the controls and whatnot. And looks like we have to go in here. Uh, so we have the Hermit Gunsmith, 
who is sleeping. Ah, uh, so I bet he won't mind us opening his treasure chest and taking out the Polar Star. So this is our first gun, and someone's transmission is interrupting us. Searching for Sue. One Sue found, and answer me, they're looking for you. Are you asleep or what? Your brother is so lonely. Alright, so Sue has a brother named Cosma. Cosma's trapped. Sue is somewhere else. Uh, I know every, pretty much everything about this game, so... Uh, now the guns in this game will level up. Uh, and as long as you don't take damage, uh, they will retain their levels. Um, you can see the experience bar up in the top right hand corner. And... Uh, unfortunately we're getting unlucky with the amount of hearts that we're getting. But, that's fine. So... Uh, I don't need to go back and save. Even though we're going to encounter one of the hardest enemies in the game. And actually, interestingly enough, an enemy that never shows up again. Uh, so th these like jumping enemies, they'll show up again uh, in other means, but this door enemy will never show up again. Alright, so Cosmo, come on, Sue. Type something, will you? Starving over here. <laughs> I'm so hungry that, that I even ate a cockroach. Just kidding. Um, I want to say in the original he said something. He said a rat instead, but I don't know. There's there's slight differences between the new and the original. Again, these are newer graphics um, where we could play with original graphics, but eh. Uh, but just so you know, yeah. If he gets to that point, he'll do it. All right. So Mimiga Village. These are some people. He's looking for a key. No way. Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. A good person. Won't betray Sue. Taroko. So, the one on the right's Taroko. Uh, next time the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. Just hand over the key. And we land in front of them and scare them off. Alright, so who are you? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I'm the number one here in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Huh. So Mimiga Village is kind of small. Again, I know this game very well, so I'm pretending to not know. Uh, well, really, including Sue at seven, but she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came into our village. That Toruko, uh, she took advantage of the commotion and escaped. Um, and now repeating a line. So... Um, this is the Mimiga Village. Uh, kind of interesting. It looks like we're in a cave or something. Hey, <laughs> cave story, get it? Uh, save point, we can go ahead and save. Um, we don't need healed. Uh, later on we're gonna get a weapon that has ammo. Um, we can refill ammo there as well. We have, uh, Yamash uh, Yamashita Farm. And... This farm where we grow flowers, job is to protect the farm. To us, Mimigas, these flowers are a precious source of food, but not the red flowers. If we eat the red flowers, our blood pressure skyrockets and we'll die in an instant. Unfortunately, on this farm, we don't grow those vile red flowers. Nope, no red flowers. But there is health. So we tamed another life capsule. Uh, I believe max life is like 55. Um, which again, we're gonna try to get. I have most of the achievements. Uh, there is a couple things that I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to get because it's actually really difficult to do. Uh, but when we get there, I'll talk about it. So, let's see what is in here. Reservoir. Alright, so, um, there is a fish down there. Can we get to that? Platform, we can. Sue, yeah, Sue, that cute girl who's always hiding in Arthur's, Arthur's house. She recently came to uh, Mimica Village and fell into the reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimica. Same as the rest of us. Uh, we'll come back to this, because it's important later. Uh, relatively soon. Later, but later. 
Uh, let's explore a little bit, because there's some stuff that we need to do. So, we've met one, two, three. This is number four. Technically five. Cool. Jeez, you scared me. Sue? Oh, you mean the girl staying in Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Toriko. Ah, that girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. I wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Um, I'm sure we'll find out. Alright, so what is this? Arthur's house. It's locked. Of course it is. So, let's see. There is a shack over here. Nothing in there. Yet. We'll get to that later. Ah, uh, and then... There's a treasure chest right there. But looks like to get there we'll have to go up another way. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what's in there. Uh, let's go up from a little bit higher in the top. Uh, so... Do one of these. Now the platforming in this game is a little bit demanding, but not nearly as much as Shovel Knight. And we got the map system! So this does exactly what you think. So long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. Uh, so... Map! You can see the map of, of Mimica Village. Not really important right now. So let's, uh... Jump back up here. Yeah, this is more of a shooter than a platformer. Uh, but you still need to jump, and the jumps can be a little bit tricky. Um, the character, the main character likes to float a little bit. Assembly Hall. And what do we have over here? Uh, cemetery. Closed through to hazards. Name's Jack. I'm number two in this village. Down here is, uh, this is Mimic of Cemetery. And there our hero Arthur rests eternally in peace. So Arthur's dead. What am I doing here? Mushrooms have taken over uh, the cemetery, so I'm keeping watch to make certain they don't come into the village. Alright. So, I guess... Assembly Hall... Um, flames billow in the fireplace. There's something on the other side. So I'll have to remember that. There's something in here. Uh, so with that taken care of, I guess let's go back to the reservoir. Uh, since the door is locked, Sue fell into the, the water. Let's see, we met one, two, three, four... Uh, let's see... King... Farmer, Jack, uh, Toroko. So there's four. Um, the guy that was eating five, six, and uh, Sue makes seven. So we've met all the Mimigas. And there is some sparklies down here. And it's the silver locket. Alright, so Sue fell in here and. Um, oh, hey! Toroko. Wah! <laughs> oh. It's, it was his uh, Wario impression. Wah! Hand over that key. No! Wow. King, you just have no authority here. Alright, Toriko, don't underestimate me. That is true, though. Don't underestimate him. Um, so, spoilers. Uh, she came into the shack. You jerk. Ow! Hit me. Uh, well, help me, help me. Huh? You know the doctor? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the doctor's such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mimiga. At times even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my other brother. Ah, that pendant. You picked it up for me. Sue gave it to me. But I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. Uh-oh. Something's coming. Oh yeah, or... Uh, as it was in the original, huzzah! I found you. It's no use hiding from me. I've got the nose of a clever harrier. Indeed. So, mysterious characters. As he has the nose and brain of a dog. Misery, I found her first. You do you with the doctor. You must be Sue. The great doctor has some of you. Come along with me. Huh? That's not Sue, it's Turoko. Mistaken identity. Uh, Balrog? The rest is up to you. The wrong person, I told you. 
I don't think they care. Not this again. I always have to clean up. And I'm the one that found her, not Misery. So what's up? You want to fight me with that little pea shooter? Yes. Understood. Um, I think you can skip the fight. Um, but it's not that hard. So, who cares? Spamming. The gun is kind of important. Because uh, it gets you a lot of attack damage. And there we go. Our first boss fight. I remember this. So we defeated Balrog. I'm sure that's going to happen a lot. Uh, and our gun leveled up. So now it shoots two little bullets. Much more powerful. Alright, so Toriko's been kidnapped. Uh, we should probably go let King know. And... Uh, where is he? Uh, I guess let's save. And we can go ahead and heal. Alright, uh, Town Hall? Town Hall's probably a good bet. Hey, there's King. Arthur's house key. There should be at least one more copy somewhere. Torco, she feigns ignorance. I wonder, maybe Jack would know something? Um, so we need to get into the house and talk to Sue. Alright, so what did you say? Torco's been kidnapped? That's terrible. We have to inform King. Alright, I already tried to, but uh, evidently he wasn't listening. Alright, so not Torco too. Torco's other brother, Arthur, was our strongest warrior, but he was killed by the doctor himself. I wasn't even able to protect Torco. Uh, there are two keys to Arthur's house. Torco has one of them. Uh, the other is inside Mim Mimica Cemetery. So, I guess I know where we're going. I always knew. <laughs> For the record, I, I know what we're doing. So, mushrooms. Also, there is a little person right there. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, they can't do anything for us right now. This guy has a knife. And a lot of HP. Um, now, the mushrooms aren't giving us any uh, experience. And there's a door up there. So... Um, first of all, the little person right here, you can kind of see him. He's right there. Uh, when he moves, you can see him a little bit better. Uh, but he just moved to the middle grave. And to the first one. Back to the third. And now he's going up the hill. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But he'll come in handy later. Uh, for arguably one of the best things in the game. And then up here, we can't get up there yet. But um, something very important is up there. Which we'll get later. Obviously. So... Arthur's grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here lies the true Mimica hero, Arthur. And we found this key. So with that, I do believe we come back into the village and I guess let's talk to these guys. Not Turco too. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what about you? There are two keys. Alright, so they have nothing else to say. So I think that is a good place to call the first episode. Um, I know we did a lot of talking, just kind of talking about uh, this game in general and all that kind of fun stuff, but uh, I don't know how many episodes it's going to take. Uh, probably won't take that long, um, but we'll see. But hopefully the, the sound's good and all that kind of stuff. I'll try to fix it all. Uh, in fact, I'm probably going to do that now. Uh, and, yeah, we'll continue on in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!